You're welcome to Nationwide and this evening we have a mixed bag of stories for you from around the country and we begin with a call to action, a warning that we can't afford to take lightly. You know the way we hear a lot about climate change and global warming and our carbon footprint and we're constantly being told that we need to do our bit to help alleviate the causes of these problems. But what can we as individuals do? Well, Valerie Waters has been talking to a man who is certainly doing his bit to bring this urgent message to the people of Ireland. Gavin Hart is a sustainable development consultant. His job is to help communities understand environmental issues such as climate change, transport or energy. He works with different agencies as their man to bring the news of change to the public. A lot of the time he's the bearer of bad news, but he's also the man with the ideas for the future. Everything we do produces carbon dioxide, and this is almost a byproduct of our life. The, the challenge for all of us is to reduce that. So we all need to learn how much we're emitting, and then we need to change our behaviour in such a way that hopefully we can start to bring that amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere back down again. Scientists are always saying that this is something that only they understand, but in fact it's for all of us. We all have to do this. It's, we're all in this together. Our planet is warming up for all of us. I, I work in this so I have a reasonable understanding on the kind of things that I want to do. I cycle my bicycle all around Dublin city. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so I don't, eat, I don't eat meat. That's a personal choice. I don't fly in airplanes anymore. Um, but, you know, I'm probably doing that because I know an awful lot more and maybe I'm making those decisions. The challenge for all of us, and particularly for our politicians, is to help us, to help us try and, and learn a bit more about what our daily decisions are actually doing. Back in 1995, Gavin took part in an eight-part television series in which he travelled by land and sea on a tight budget from Dublin to Darwin. This gave him the chance of a lifetime to see what life is like for people in other parts of the globe. To really see the scale and beauty of this world reassured me of two things. First of all, that we're all connected. It's the same atmosphere. It's the same, the same life that flows through everything on this planet. And as well as that, it gave me a real sense that Ireland is actually a beautiful place and I'm really quite happy now to stay in Ireland and I don't feel the need to want to go travelling around the world. Um, in a way I suppose I have had the fortunate opportunity to do that but it's, it's lovely to get that sense that we have a big world but also a beautiful place here as well. Gavin was director of Antashka for the year of 2005, a post that he found both invigorating and complicated. Antashka has a, has a name sometimes, particularly in rural Ireland, where people say, look, um, you know, they're just busy bodies and they're sticking their nose into people's business. But when you went out there and you spoke with people and, and, and you said, look, look what's happening to your villages. Look what's happening to the rivers of this country. Look what's happening to the air and the estuaries and the natural environment. People could see. And, and I think what Antashka was doing was providing the connection, saying the reason why this is happening is because maybe what we're doing in planning and changing our landscape is having that impact and people could I think recognize that these two things were often in conflict and it was important I think for all of us to recognize this that our economy and our environment are absolutely connected and if we mistreat our environment it's not always to the betterment of our economy. These days, Gavin works with organisations such as Cultivate and Friends of the Earth. He's focusing on bringing information on climate change to the wider community. He travels to towns and cities throughout the country to talk about their specific location. Here in Dublin, he's concerned about the coastal area. Back in February 2002, people might remember that terrible flooding that happened. Well, one of the great concerns with regards to climate change is that we're seeing an increase in sea level. And the tidal surge that happened in 2002, if we see sea level rise in the order of about a half a metre to a metre, those flooding events could be happening between every 10 or 5 or possibly every 2 years over the next 50 to 70 or 80 years. Irish Town and Rings End are the areas that Gavin sees as being under serious threat from the consequences of climate change. This is really at sea level. It's really now significantly important that we start to look at these areas in the light of sea level rise. So 
as a place where I think we can experience and see how enormous the impacts of sea level rise could be. Poolbeg, the power station and all the industry down here is a place to take a look. We are an environmental awareness, environmental campaigning organisation. We exist to raise people's awareness of, of the key environmental challenges of our time and crucially then to mobilise them to take action to actually overcome those challenges. And our biggest campaign at the moment is around climate change. It's the defining challenge, not just environmentally, but the defining challenge of our age. And basically we work with people like Gavin to extend our reach to bring our message and our, and, and our movement to more people than we would otherwise manage to do. We're a very small office here in Dublin with three staff. A lot of our work is by web and by media, but actually now it's time to get out there and engage people and mobilise them. And working with someone like Gavin, who we'd happily employ if we could afford to, if we had the resources to, but working with him as a consultant allows us to do that and allows us to get his unique style out, uh, out around the country uh, and engage people on the issue of climate change. Gavin works in the area of education with the agency CORE, which is the Sustainable Development Council. This is a national network of 25 stakeholders from various areas of Irish life who come together to work out solutions as to how to make Ireland a sustainable place in which to live. He's also involved with CODEMA, which is the Dublin Energy Agency, which works with the four local authorities in the city and county. Gavin is working on the Energy Smart Community. This is where he goes out to communities with independent information on how they can make their homes warmer and energy efficient. Well, work for me has changed enormously in the last five years. What I'm noticing is that business, government and ordinary people are really interested in not just the environment, but the big story, how all this fits together. So what I'm finding is that really there's a lot more work for me. I'm getting work with government agencies, I'm getting work with NGOs, and now I'm starting to work with just people who want to make a difference. For most people in the environmental sector, Gavin is best known as the man behind the Eco Village in Clock Jordan in County Tipperary. The first six houses are now being built there. His own plan for the future is to move out of the city and settle back in the country where he can live in a community of like-minded people. His dream would be for this philosophy to be part of the mainstream of Irish life. We will have a huge challenge if we try to do it individually and, uh, and, and just on our own, where some people decide to and other people don't. This really is a, a, a national, a local, a national and a global uh, mission. We're all in this together. If you'd like any more information about the work that Gavin and others are doing, you'll find it on the CORE website and the address is on your screens now.